Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. I am Chris the Girl. This is another episode of the Spooky Shopping Channel. So today I thought maybe we would do just a good old fashioned Halloween decor hunting video. Um, now obviously that's, you know, that's what we've been doing now since, I don't know, June? Um, but in this one in particular, I'm channeling my old school Halloween decor hunting vibes. Um, I don't know if, if you all are familiar with this meme or not, but it basically says um, I'm running errands, but the errands that I'm actually running are like Spirit Halloween and like Starbucks and like all of this stuff. That is that that always makes me laugh because that is literally my life. That is literally what I have done in the past is is tell people like I'm going out, I'm running errands, you know, this weekend or this day or whatever. And those errands are literally just Halloween decor hunting. Like it's literally just looking for Halloween. It sounds like I'm going to the bank or the grocery store or something, but it is truly just going to these stores and looking for Halloween. Um, anyway, I kind of thought that's what today would be. Now, I do actually have some other errands that I legitimately need to do. Um, there's some things that I need to pick up today and uh, get done, but I'm going to be taking you all along with me and we're going to be going to, we're going to be checking in on some stores that we haven't checked in on in a really, 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 really long time. And we need to get back in there and see the things like Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Um, you know, some of those big stores out there that we've, we've been checking in on for, for a while in the beginning there, but now it's like full on Halloween in all of these stores. So we got to go back in there and we got to check it out. Um, there's some stuff that I've like been seeing online and I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to find this. So hopefully that will happen today. Anyway. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for clicking on this video. Without further ado, let's get it a going here. Happy Halloween, everybody. Let's get shopping and let's go. So in this episode, we find ourselves over in New Tampa, Florida. And the first stop is going to be Home Goods. We're going to check out Home Goods. And I want to say also, like I said in the intro, as far as I know, all of these stores are going to have like so much Halloween, it's going to be a little bit ridiculous. So my norm of showing you absolutely every single thing on the shelves and explaining the prices and all of that stuff, that, that, that's not, that's not going to happen today in this video, folks. We're going to do some, I'm going to show you, you know, the things that catch my eye, but in general, we, we, oh my gosh, like home goods alone, we would only do home goods today and it would be in an eight hour video if I did that. So anyway enough talk let's shop it's also like back to school shopping time everyone's getting stuff getting ready for that and it's a saturday as of the time of this recording so oh boy this could be interesting yeah right off the bat we're gonna be seeing a lot of halloween that is for darn sure for the most part i'll probably just be doing pans here for you so you can see all of the stuff in here I know that, oh my gosh, that is so cool. It's an astronaut, a little spaceship, little scaly astronaut. Oh my goodness, $14, okay. This is not good, I've already seen something that I think I kind of need. Got lots of good stuff going on in here. Lots of scaly couples, also Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster couple. That is pretty darn cool. This one's $15. I bet Tampa J would like that. This is also a really cool cauldron. It's like kind of a lime green color. It says eek on it. There's a, looks like there's a small one and a medium one. Yep, there's a small one. Okay, that is really cute. That one's $8. I don't want to spend too, too terribly much time in this aisle, in the Halloween aisles. I really want to focus on looking at the, like, blankies, the bathroom stuff, uh, things like that. Oh, there's my witch hat that I got the other day. I love that thing. Holy moly, yeah, there is so much here. So you can see what I mean when I'm like, I can't point out absolutely everything. We'll be here for eight hours. It'll be fun. Don't get me wrong. 
we got stuff to do today. We got other places to see. Ooh, that's really cool. I like this uh, skeleton octopus. Okay, that is pretty darn cool. That one's $15. Here's a bunch of pillows over in here. Ooh, I like the skelly one up there. This one's pretty cool too, although I don't know how I feel about the tassels. I do like the skeletons. Let's see, this one's $25 for that. Also the bats, that one, really cool too. This little guy here is really cute too. This little ghost, little bats cut out of him. $8, looks like he lights up. Oh, and the sculpt is really cool too. I like the marble look too on this one's $8. Nice. There's so lots of really cool candle holders I'm noticing as well. Like there's this one here that is evidently very tall and very heavy, very substantial. This one's $15 dollars got a bunch of skulls on it and this one is really cool too this skull with three tapers that you could put on that i like the flowers on it as well this one is 15. so there are some drying mats in here as well as some dish towels which if you all have been following the channel you know i love me some dish towels they've got some really cute ones in here i like this happy halloween classic set of two this one is seven dollars the drying mats are intriguing to me though don't necessarily need one but they are always kind of good to have look how cute this one is all the doggies on it they look like billa that is super super cute that one is eight dollars also of course got to point out the disney stuff as well this one's got a bunch of mickey pumpkins on it Super, super cute. This one is $8. I have to think about that. I'm actually very surprised at myself because I haven't bought a single blankie yet this season. Although I think I've already convinced myself to buy the Haunted Mansion one at um, Spirit Halloween. If you saw that video, then you know what I'm talking about. But today may be the day I might buy another one. Ooh, this one's a good one. Ooh, I love the skulls and the purple. Dang. Okay, uh, this one's $20, that's not too bad. Also, I like the eyes. That one is really cute too. And you know what I was thinking the other day as well, I was like, don't have a typical Halloween orange, white, black blankie, like something like this with the pumpkins on it. This one's $17 or maybe something like this. I think I need a Halloween specific blanket so I might keep my eyes out for that this one was 17 that's not bad and it's really feels really comfy let's see what else we can Ooh, that's a nice one look that's with the fringe on it I like that Ooh, spider webs oh no that one's 25 dang I really like that a lot okay We've got things to think about here. Oh, we've got some napkins over here too, as well as tablecloths. Someday, someday we'll get a table. Someday. I don't know if we'll ever be in the need for fancy napkins though, but they are here if you're looking for them. And lots of really cool tablecloths. This one, for example, is $20. $20. They got a lot of options. Some Dios de los Muertos ones. Hmm. That's kind of cool. That's a placemat and it's like plasticky. Hmm. Kind of like that. All right, we're venturing off into the store now, looking deep within the aisles. We've got a whole end cap here with a bunch of more kitchen towels, table runners, and the like. That's really cool. A set of three uh, cauldrons here. The skeletons are holding them up. I think I've seen that one before. I wanted to point out this though, the Hocus Pocus hanging kitchen towel set. It's got binks all over it. That's super cute. That one is $10. This is really, really cute too. So you gotta check every aisle with this little cookie jar here. It's got a witch hat on top of it. 
Adorable. That one is $20. Oh, and this is cute too. A little uh, a set of three like dipping things here. Okay, that's $10 dollars really cute and i do love looking out for spooky baking items because i like to bake especially if it's gonna be spooky and this is really cute this little looks like a like little cupcake holder thing here holds 11 cupcakes really darn adorable wow and it's only ten dollars too okay that's not too bad Ooh, we got some bread dishes in here look how adorable the little ghosts are so cute this one is thirteen dollars they have a bigger size down here too there's also these which are super adorable i love little spiders on the inside really 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 cute Ooh, soap dispensers little tombstone the ghost in here there's a skull i love the tombstone that is so cute that one is six dollars i'll have some salt and pepper shakers in here so there's some kitty cats skulls these cupcakes here super super cute also again the tombstones these are adorable four dollars over in the bathroom section now of course see lots of towels i'm not in the market anymore for the towels although there's some really cute ones here i like the purple that is adorable how much ten dollars okay to think about it um but yeah i'm still looking for like shower curtains and just anything that i can add Oh, that's really cute too. Anything that I can add to um, the spooky bathroom. You can see in the midst of all of these pretty soaps and such. Look, they have uh, they have some ghosts in here. Really cute. Five dollars for that one. There's also this spooky guy here. Oh. Okay, I don't really like Ray Dunn that much. I'm not gonna lie, it's not my jam. Thirteen dollars for this little Snoopy. You could put snacks in here, little treats for your dog. And I love this because we have a big old Bella at home, which is uh, what Snoopy is, is a little beagle. How cute. Okay. Cute as pumpkin hatch. <laughs> that is adorable. This one is eight dollars. So cute. Also this adorable mug in here, Snoopy. It says it's Halloween on it. Really cute. Eight dollars. And I actually got Bella a bed last year. And it's actually this bed right here at the bottom. Um, so I might get her a new one this year too, just because she, she loves her beds and they get pretty, pretty gnarly looking after a while. So, I don't know, I might grab her a, a new Snoopy bed. It looks like these ones are $20. Also have a lot of really, really, really cute doggy toys. So adorable, which I'm definitely gonna do, spoiler alert, but I'm gonna do a whole entire video specifically on dog pet stuff, Halloween pets. So that'll be coming up soon. Oh, there's no Halloween here. That'll be coming up soon. Uh, so I'm not gonna linger on this too much, but yeah, it's here. It's adorable. Got a lot of cute stuff on this end cap in here. I was just smelling some of the candles. Looking at all of that stuff. They've got a lot of really, really adorable ones in here, not just on this end cap, but throughout, throughout the store. Yeah, this is just kind of like a hodgepodge of stuff. Ooh, look at these taper candles. White with bats on them. That is really cool. These ones are five dollars. A few more things over on this shelf in here too. I see a lot of good stuff. Got some Hocus Pocus glassware. That is pretty cool. If you're a fan, you might want to grab this. That's fifteen dollars. And they also have Nightmare Before Christmas and they got some little glasses in here too. Ooh, and a spoon rest. You can always use a spoon rest. That one is six dollars. That's pretty cute. Ooh, 
this uh, mug set here. Set of four, all the Disney villains on there. That is adorable, I love that. Oh, and look how cute these little ghost canisters are. These are $8. I like the uh, opalescence of it all, but there's also this ghost here that's just all white. Oh, and look how cute this guy is. This little mug with the topper on it. It's got Snoopy laying on top. That one is $10. Oh, and look at all the Hocus Pocus stuff, the cauldrons. It's adorable. Ooh. Okay. This is a winner of a mug. This one's $6. Look at all of the different colored pumpkins. Oh my gosh, and on the inside it says Gord Times. Why do I love this so, so very much? Okay, that's a winner. That is a winner. We may be taking some things home with us today. Look at all of the mugs that they have in general though. Those little ghost mugs, so cute. A little classic jack-o'-lantern one here, a mummy. Creep it real. I see what they did there. Yeah, lots of really great mugs. And of course I gotta point out this huge cauldron in the back too. This would be great for putting like chips in there or something. Witch's brew, it's 15, dang, $15. That is not a bad price. This is a big, big cauldron and it is substantial. It is heavy too. Dang, you home goods taking all of my money right now. This is really cool too. Just found it on a, one of these little shelves here. It's a camera. A skeleton camera. That is creepy. Tampa J would enjoy that. I have a feeling it does indeed light up yeah. as well. All right, I'm about to head in line. I'm gonna check out. Yes, I did buy some things. I can't help it, but I wanted to show some stuff in here. Look how cute Yoda is. Yoda, little baby Yoda on a, on a little pumpkin, a little spoon stand. Also check out these really cute dish cloths. Oh my goodness, the purple and the ghosties, and they're small, and they feel good. I love that. Honestly, don't know what I would do with all of these dishcloths. Not gonna lie, it's $15, but they are really cute. If you're in the market for something like that, home goods may be your jam. There's a few different kinds in here, and they even got fall in there as well. Yeah, these are quite nice. I'm like trying to justify in my head get, grabbing them, but I, I don't think I need them. This jar is also really adorable. $10. Look at all the pumpkins. Pumpkin drawings. That is super, super, super cute. I do like that a lot. Ooh, the inside is orange too. Well, Home Goods was a success as I basically knew that it would be. Uh, pretty much every single Home Goods at this point is chock o block full of Halloween everywhere, like every single aisle. So it is the most wonderful time of the year, as they say. Yes, I did purchase some things, so we'll be doing a good old fashioned haul at the end of uh, this video here. So stick around for that to see what I got. I have a feeling I'm gonna be buying a decent amount of stuff today. I'm not, I, I don't know, I just, I just have a feeling. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so it was, it mostly it was me going through all of the other, all of the other aisles, looking for blankets, looking for mugs, and, you know, all of, all of that good stuff. But anyway, we're gonna head down the road a little bit now, and we're going to head to Marshall's next. One more stop, and then we're heading to Marshall's, I promise. Even though it's not pumpkin spice season, I need to get me some coffee. I am exhausted. All right, we finally made it to Marshall's and I did get my coffee, much needed and appreciated. And speaking of appreciation, I wanna say thank you so much to David for this video's coffee. I sure do hope you enjoy this one. Thank you so much for supporting the channel as much as you have. And also I wanted to welcome aboard new coffee buddies, Brenda, Nikki, and Paige. Thank you all so much for becoming a member of the channel of my coffee buddies. Um, there's always a link in the description below if, if you want to find out how you can help support the channel. It's, it's never ever 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 necessary but always 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 appreciated y'all. So cheers to all of you. Thank you so much. Happy Halloween. All right, inside of Marshalls we go. I'm very excited about this because we haven't spent a ton of time 
in Marshalls yet so far on the channel. So let's go in there. Let's see what we can find. All right, whatever we find inside of the store has got to be really, really good because the wine is super long. So if we buy anything, it's got to be extra special. But this might just do it. Look at these cute little cupcake pants, like sweatpants. They're made out of like a terry cloth material kind of thing, like a, like a fleece blankie. Oh man, I could definitely see lounging around in these and they're only $10 too. Also, this is really cute. Little pajama set. Wow, that's really soft as well. This one's $14. Got these pajama pants. Little ghosts and cats. Dang, Marshalls, okay. And they even have little puppy dogs. Little witch puppy dogs. Super, super cute. And we've got some Halloween up in here as well. Bunch of, bunch of classic stuff. Pumpkins, really creepy. Really creepy pumpkins. I think we saw him already, for sure. This guy is really cute though, this little witch ghost. Okay, yeah, we've definitely, we've seen some of this stuff already at, uh, at Marshall's. We're gonna go deep within the aisles, see what we can find. That's horrifying. And that's really cute. Oh, I like that, that's adorable. This one's $8. Little ghosty with like his little blush. He's blushing. Some more really cute Halloween items in this section here. I like these set of three ghosts. This one and this one. You can't go wrong. It's $15 for them. And look at these skeletons here doing some yoga poses and they've got little air plants hanging out of them. Not real ones, but that's okay. And over on this side, we've got a lot of really cool stuff over in here as well as a lot of mugs, which is very dangerous. I already see several that I really, really like. Oh no. But to check this out, they've got a, a Stape of Marshmallow Man. What in the world? He's 25 dollars Halloween greeter. What, let me see if he does anything. Yeah, I don't think he does anything, but he certainly doesn't have to. He is adorable. Also, speaking of adorable, this little candy corn here, super cute, ten dollars. Makes me think we haven't seen any candy corn yet so far this season. Hopefully that won't change. And look at this, we've got another telephone here. Is this the? I know who you are. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, here's another really cute ghost little uh, light here. This one's eight dollars. He's cute. What does this do? Could be alive right about now. Just to just turn that turn that off now. Fifteen dollars for the uh, dancing Daisy Jack O' Lantern. Thing. Got a bunch of velvet skulls, a really scary toad sitting on a perfectly good pumpkin. Oh well, this kitty cat is really pretty. Got a bunch of stars all over it. That one's $10. And I'm just itching to get into these mugs here. There are some really, really dang cute ones. Like this one here. I love that. So this is $5. I love the, the checkered pattern, the black and white checkered pattern on it. It's very ska. I do love me some ska. And also this Mickey one. Look how cute he is being haunted by a little Mickey ghost. There's a little Mickey ghost like stirrer on it. Oh man, that is a winner. That is $10 for this one. This is also really cute. Stack of jack-o'-lanterns mug. This one's seven dollars. There's a witch's brew cauldron mug which I'm always a fan of. I like the purple slime coming out of it. This one's seven dollars. This one is super cool too. I love the witch riding on a broom with a kitty cat says witch's brew on the inside. Five dollars and it glows in the dark. That's amazing. Ooh, this one's really cool too. I like the matte black first of all, but the skeleton there drinking his coffee, sitting on a moon for some reason, five dollars. This is another really cool one. Checkered pattern on the inside, happy Halloween, five dollars. This is a really nice insulated uh, 
Well, insulated tumbler. There you go. It's uh, ten dollars. I like all the ghosts on it. Black and white, classic. Oh, this is cool too. Canister. How many canisters do we need? But Frankenstein's monster's head. That is. Neat. Oh, it's a candle. Oh man. Okay, that's thirteen dollars. The scent is bobbing for apples, and it definitely smells very green apple. Ask. They do have a lot of candles in here too. Lots of really good, cool looking candles. Like just in general, really cool canisters. Always a big fan. Let's see. Oh, that uh, was not smelling what I thought it would smell like. That's $13. It smells like, it's like uh, fruity. It's not pumpkin-y, not apple-y. It's like fruity smelling. Interesting. Oh, look at these cute pillows. $30. Pumpkin shaped pillows. And look how cute all of these pillows and blankies are. Oh no. I love that Snoopy really gets his, his time in the sun during this time of year. Super darn cute. Also love the witch riding on a broom, of course. This one's really cool. Kind of like a sweater pattern here. This one's $25 and then of course I love the Mickey as well. Very cute. He's so cute. Dang and look at these sheets. Peanuts sheets. $20. We do need new sheets. That is for sure. Okay is this worth standing in that huge line for? I don't know. There's also this one with a uh, witch Snoopy which is I mean, easily my favorite. How cute is that? Dang, you marshals. I also have a Ray Dunn full sheet set, so this is $17. That's pretty cute too for Ray Dunn. Maybe we'll get all of the pillows in here too. Hocus Pocus. Little ghosts on there. More ghosts. The doggies over there. Super, super cute. Marshall's was a success. I did indeed purchase something. Uh, the line shortened a little bit since I got in there first and it went really quick once I got in the line. So it was totally worth it. And I'm actually like beyond, beyond excited about this purchase. I can't wait to show you all what I got. And I can't wait for Tampa J to see it as well because I think he's really, really gonna like it. So I'm very excited about this one. But um, anyway, we're gonna head out of here. My next stop um, is once again not necessarily Halloween related. Um, I'm gonna head down the road again just a little bit and we're actually gonna go to the mall. Again, Lord help us, it's a Saturday. I hate shopping on the weekends. This is like, I, I it, it, it drives me bananas. Anyway, we're gonna head to the mall. <laughs> anyway, because um, I need to go to Sephora and there, listen, there is so much makeup and like skincare stuff that I need and I have this really horrible habit of waiting until I need like 10 different products before I go to the store and buy those things instead of like spacing it all out because then it, it costs me like a lot of money, a lot of money uh, for all of these things, like buying all these things at once. So. Oh, oh well, we're, we're back at it again. But um, yeah, I have to go to Sephora. I got to grab some things there. And then uh, we're going to head, we're going to keep on heading down the road after that and go to TJ Maxx last. So fun fact, that was not an indoor mall. It was actually an outdoor mall sort of thing. And uh, so I parked next to Dillard's because I always try to park at department stores when I go into indoor malls. I just think the parking lot is easier to manage. And um, so I'm walking through Dillard's and it's like, where's the, where's the mall entrance? Uh, it took me a second to realize, hold on, it's an outdoor mall. So anyway, I got my stuff from Sephora, but I happened to walk through the beauty department at Dillard's and it turns out the beauty products that I use, Juice Beauty, which I cannot recommend enough by the way, was 50% off in Dillard's so I uh, absolutely bought my uh, my cleanser and some eye uh, cream 
from Dillard's, which I never would have thought to look in. So that actually was a really, really happy accident. Um, as you can see, this stuff isn't necessarily inexpensive. Uh, so, heck yeah, 50% off. Dang. That is fantastic. I am super, super excited about that. So, yay for Dillard's. Anyway, we're going to drive up a little bit now and uh, head on over to TJ Maxx. All right, so specifically we are at The Grove at Wesley Chapel, by the way. I haven't really been super announcing where I've been today uh, because pretty much the stores that we've been to, kind of like I said at the beginning, I'm... I, Every Home Goods, every Marshalls, every TJ Maxx is gonna have this stuff, basically, more or less. So I've I've been a little bit lax on that, but yeah, right now anyway, we are at the Grove at Wesley Chapel, and um, I'm actually going to stop at one of my most favorite stores of all time, the World Market. Now I don't think that they have any Halloween out now. They should have some fall though. Um, but trust me, we will be back here. We will be back at the, uh, at the World Market because I love, love, love their Halloween stuff. Um, so we'll be checking that out when, whenever that comes out. There's also a Ross basically right next door, so we might as well pop in there and check on some stuff. There's a Michaels next door to that. This place has everything. There's a Michaels next door to that, but I don't think we're going to pop in there because, listen, we have been up Michaels' butt lately. Uh, so I think I think we're okay there. We, we, there's actually more stuff yet still that they have not released Halloween-wise, so we will be back to Michaels another time. Um, but anyway, somewhere in this plaza too is the TJ Maxx, so we'll we'll hit that too. But first, let's head into World Market. All right, World Market. Like I said, I love this store. Let's head on inside. Okay, made it inside, and indeed we have a lot of really adorable fall items. Like for example, look at these little acorns. How adorable is that? Autumn morning. That sounds nice. Thirteen dollars. Let's give her a sniff. Yeah, that's an autumn morning, all right. That's kind of like an apple sort of scent. And this one is copper pumpkin. Mmm, okay, that's really nice. It's actually not like a like a pumpkin-y kind of smell. It, it smells uh it smells sweet, but not in a bad way. Okay. These are adorable. I really I really like the containers for these candles. Mmm. Cider and clothes candles in here, all kinds, from little ones to big ones. Mm, yeah, they smell really good. Lots of fall florals up at the front here too. And I almost missed these. Look, they have pumpkin ones. Pumpkin plum, pumpkin spice. Ooh, pumpkin sage, hello. Pumpkin vanilla, okay. Pumpkin sage is speaking to me. Oh boy, that smells very good. Pumpkin-y, but also like floral-y. $15. That, let me tell you, that's not a bad price for a big, pretty candle like this. Very substantial. Very beautiful. Alright, got some things to think about here. Oh, and here we go. They always get me with the little felt pumpkins here. Oh, little felt mushrooms. Dang. Okay, that's five dollars. Look at the little pears. Oh goodness, how cute. I love the little felt pumpkins. These are seven dollars. I have several of these at home. So cute. These ones are five dollars. I like the blue color there. These are super cute too. How adorable. Oh, I want all of them. Thirteen dollars. And look at the little turkeys as well. Super, super cute. I think I like this one the best. Mini turkey. Adorable. He is five dollars. So thankful. So thankful they have fall, that's for sure. Got a lot of stuff in here. Glass pumpkins. Ooh. Glass mushrooms. Wooden mushrooms. It is the year of the mushrooms. That is for darn sure. These ones here, twenty dollars. Here's a set of three mini pumpkins. That's cute. Oh, and look at these little folks. Aww. They 
y'all are so cute. Look at him. He's ready for fall. It's me. Ten dollars. I got this cute little farm set up here. This is thirty dollars. A laser cut farmhouse. I got me a laser cut RV thing with a bunch of skellies outside of it from World Market last year. It's really cute. They always have really, really cute laser cut options. But yeah, lots more pumpkins and potpourri, of course. Look at these adorable little pumpkin cookie jars. This thing is massive. Uh, it is, looks like 20, wow. They want $25 for this thing. Dude. Really? Yeah, man, $25. Wow, that's a, that's a steal. That is a steal. Yeah, they got a bunch of snacks in here too. The, the farm is also very adorable. Ooh, and candy corn flavored meringue. I love meringue and candy corn. I'm gonna tell you, if you like mushrooms, World Market's gonna be, it's gonna be your jam. Look how cute these little things are, and that's not even the end of it. Look at this mug with the topper on it. I don't need any more mugs, you have no idea. Look at these coasters. Oh my gosh, and the little plates too. They've got trays, you could have a whole Mushroom Kingdom thing going on here. If you like Mario too, this could be, this could be right up your alley. Dang, these are so stinking cute. These ones are $10. Bowl. These would be great for for soups, I think is what they're suggesting. Look at all of the soups. It's almost soup season. Of course, not here in Florida. Not for a long, long dang time. It's too hot for soup, quite frankly. Pumpkin pasta. That's interesting. Look at these cute little little pastas in here. Oh, and how adorable. Little uh, little dishes. These are five dollars. There's a little acorn in there too. Fall cookies, fall chocos, maple fudge, maple cream cookies, pumpkin spice bark. They always have really cool snacks inside of the world market. Ooh, and tea. Oh my gosh. Apple cider tea. That sounds fantastic even though it's a thousand degrees out. I am there. That sounds so, so good. Apple pie chai. Hello, yes please, caffeine free, sign me up. Apple, cinnamon, cardamom, nutmeg, and cloves. Listen, that sounds right up my alley. Holy moly. When they have a uh, tea, is so, listen, I love tea. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet or maybe you don't know if you haven't been with the channel for a while. I love tea, it's one of my favorite things of all time. Harvest tea assortment, pumpkin spice, cranberry, blood orange, pomegranate green, ooh golden pumpkin, caramel apple, hot apple cider. Listen, sign me up for all of the above. It's pumpkin beer time too, which is one of my favorite things as well. Caramel pumpkin, imperial pumpkin ale. I don't know if I've ever had that before. There's also this, Kentucky ale pumpkin barrel. That's probably really dang good. Oh, look at these dishes here. These little pie dishes. How cute is that? Oh, that's adorable. Makes me want to bake a pie. Hello, gorgeous. Nice, nice little doormat over in here. We also have a bunch of wreaths as well. Some cute garlands in here too. Adorable. And a little candle hole, well, not little. It's a big, substantial candle holder, but I love this. Look at the, the leaves. That is really pretty, very bohemian, very me. It's $20 for that. Some really cute pillows in here as well. Very cute fall pillows. Listen, whenever we actually buy a couch, which I gotta stop buying all this stuff because it's deterring us from buying a couch. Not really, but I'm just saying. Um, it's all over with the pillows. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It is all over. We're gonna buy all of the pillows ever and blankies like more so than we already have now which is a little bit scary to me but yeah i love some of these they are really really darn cute all right didn't end up buying anything from world market but that's okay we're gonna head right next door over to ross all right we do indeed have some halloween items here inside of ross got some interesting ones too 
like the switch. Okay. That's cool. A lot of glassware over in here too. These guns in here and then you have these teacup sets. You could have a whole spooky tea set thing going on. Oh, the thing is broken. Okay, I won't linger on this. You have the Ouija board set up on the inside and then the outside is like all zodiac and stars. So cool. And then check this one out. Yeah, you could have a whole spooky tea party. That is so adorable, seven dollars. If I had a space for tea sets, we'd be in big trouble. I'd be buying all of this. Look at this little sugar bowl thing. Oh my gosh, seven dollars. Okay, that is so cute. And there's this skeleton hand here with a bunch of butterflies on it. That is really pretty. That's only eight dollars. And you could get a skull to match with it. That's really cool, $10 for that. Ooh, this is a good piece. Back in here, does the, oh, nope, it doesn't. This is all one piece, $8. Classic jack-o'-lantern, witch hat, spider web. You can't, you can't go wrong. And this is really cool too. It's like a microwave thing, like Tupperware thing, but also you could use it in the microwave. It has a vent on the top. Very useful, that's four dollars. This is a really cool projector set back in here. Oh, by the way, they have the skelly hand, but with black butterflies. That's cool. Yeah, that's a neat one. Classic jack-o'-lanterns. All right, heading back to the car, then we're gonna drive over to TJ Maxx. It's just a few few stores down that way. TJ Maxx. Fingers crossed because there's stuff that I've been seeing online, like I said, that I haven't seen in person yet. Hoping TJ Maxx is the store. A lot of pumpkin soaps in here. That's for darn sure. This one's really cute in particular. All little ghost cats on there. It's adorable. Look how cute all of this stuff is in here. I love this two-tiered wicker thing going on here. Witch hat over on the top. It's purple. I love that. $25 for this. Also, there's a wicker skull. Super cute. That one is $13. Oh, and there's a wicker bat as well. This one is $13. Adorable. Oh yeah, this, uh, this TJ Maxx has a lot of stuff in here. First of all, headless horseman alert. These are always in high, high demand. This is a huge, huge one too. All right, how much does TJ Maxx want for theirs? $30, that is not bad for this big, big thing here. So look at this huge cauldron. Holy moly, I don't like the frogs at the bottom though, so I definitely won't be buying it. That guy is tempting, I'm not gonna lie, but we did just buy a headless horseman statue, so. I think I'll leave it alone for now. Spoiler alert, I'll leave it for somebody else to buy. But that is a really, really dang cool piece. And there's two of them here at this TJ Maxx. That's pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of cute stuff. A lot of cute stuff. Let's do a pan here for you. A lot of, a lot of things to take in. That's pretty cool, this little canister. That's adorable. Little ghosties down there. Yep, they've got some good stuff. Got some good stuff. Of course, we have some mugs here too, and I already, once again, sucker for the mugs. I see a lot of really good ones in here as well. So I had the option. If I had the money and I had the option, I would have so many spooky mugs. It would be really, really ridiculous. It's already ridiculous, but trust me, it would be insane. This one's really cool. I love it. Very kind of like vintage sort of-esque. This one though, if they stick a pumpkin Mickey on there, I'm buying it, usually. Set, uh, $6 for this one, really cute. Which is brew, cauldron mug here, that's always good. 
wrapped up. It's already done, but it does have Snoopy on it, so that is pretty cute too. There's another cauldron mug down in there. Wow, yeah, TJ Maxx. They have put in a lot of Halloween, all of this stuff in here. All Halloween. Uh, they have uh, a big Mickey pumpkin. Oh, it's so adorable. It's $30. Of plushies. Super cute. Now, a lot of this stuff we've we've seen before. You know, Home Goods, Marshalls. It's kind of all looking the same at this point. Not gonna lie. This little mummy mouse is really adorable, though. That's thirteen dollars. And some more Halloween little ghost planters are really cute. Yeah, it's a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. It's an interesting looking Frankenstein's monster. He's not green. Like usual. One look at the skelly here. He's so cute. Just laying there, letting it all hang out. It's adorable. I got a lot of really good ghosts in this section, too. These ones are super, super cute. Let's see, that's $15 for this one. There was so much good stuff at that TJ Maxx. There was definitely a few things that I wouldn't have mind purchasing, but the line was ridiculously long and honestly i don't need another mug with that i think the shopping day is done holy moly y'all we went at it hard today for many hours i am ready to go home and relax a little bit man it is busy busy bumping out there like i said at the beginning uh school starting soon so there's lots of families in these stores buying stuff uh, for the kiddos, for the youth, for the people out there who are going back to school. So yeah, we uh, we dodged a lot of stuff today, um, but I have quite a few things to, to show you here as well. So stick around. Um, we'll do a haul here in a sec, but yeah, I'm ready. Man, I'm ready to head home. Okay, made it back home. Let me show you all what I got today. So... First of all, from Home Goods, which now seems like a distant, distant dream than memory. Um, that's actually where I purchased the most things. So, first of all, I got this mug. Gourd Times. I thought it was just too darn adorable. I love it. All the different colored pumpkins. So stinking cute. It was $6. I absolutely, this is the last thing that I need, truly, is a mug, let alone a Halloween mug, um, but it's just so cute. I, I love looking for unique pieces like this that maybe aren't necessarily overtly Halloween or overtly spooky or whatever it may be, but just something that's unique and kind of a little off. I don't know, like that. that's what I feel like this is. The, this is the epitome of the things that I look for when I when I do my decor shopping. So I don't know, I just think it's adorable and I cannot wait to drink some tea and or coffee out of this mug. Home Goods got me in the last minute decision area. I did get this canister. Um, honestly, I, I probably would have got it anyway, even if we, saw, if we didn't see it in the last minute section. It is amazing. I love this. Once again, this is not necessarily an item that I need. I don't really need a canister. By the way, inside is orange and it says eek on there. Super adorable. Um, it was $10 too, by the way, which is another deciding factor. Yeah, $10. So not too shabby. Um, but it's just so cool. Like it's so unique looking somebody. Like, it looks like somebody just like drew this like sketch sketches of all these scared looking pumpkins. It is adorable. I've, once again, this is something that I've never really seen before. Just a unique piece that really spoke to me. And um, I'm not sure if this is gonna go in the kitchen or if it's gonna go in the bathroom. Uh, but either way, I think this is a fantastic piece. I, I really, really, really like this one. Additionally at Home Goods, I did indeed get a blankie and I had a tough time deciding which one to get, but I kind of liked the the blackness of the black on this blankie and then the evil looking jack-o'-lanterns really sold it for me too. I wanted, as I said in the store, I really wanted something that was like Halloween actually. So like this is like the reverse of everything that I literally just said. Um, but I just, I love the idea of wrapping up in a Halloween 
blankie with my jack-o'-lanterns and maybe a nice cup of tea or something watching a movie. I, I just, I love it. It's so soft, so comfy. It's $17 and I'm very, very, like I'm hyped, hyped about this blankie. First blankie of the season and I think this is a really, really good one. Next at Marshalls, I did get the Peanuts um, uh, sheets here. So I went with the, the witch Snoopy ones. Here is what it's gonna look like on the bed there for you. It's so dang adorable. We need bed sheets anyway. And although I'm not like super pumped about it being a dark blue, I'm not, not gonna lie to you all. Um, that's just from a feng shui perspective. That, that, that's why I, I could literally go on a three hour diatribe about that, but we're not gonna do that. Just, I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's a feng shui thing, okay? I love dark blue. We have dark blue sheets on there right now as we speak. So, um, but an anyway, it was obviously it was the Halloween-ness of it all, the Snoopy-ness of it all, and the fact that he's a little witch Snoopy all over here, the cauldrons and all that stuff. I am so excited about this. You know that I am 100% committed to an item when I decide to wait in line on a Saturday to buy it. That's how committed I was to these sheets and am. So literally the second that I finish filming this, I am putting this in the blankie, in the wash, and it is going on the bed immediately. And I am so excited. Uh, so yeah, Halloween sheets. This was $20 by the way. And then finally, Target. Yes, I did stop at Target on the way home just to pick up a couple of uh, random items that I needed as well as some dinner for tonight. Um, and then I happened to stroll down the home section and wouldn't you know it, but they did have some fall candles in there. So I grabbed the cinnamon pumpkin muffin one. Um, I actually, um, at several of the stores that we went to today, I had, it, I literally had candles in my hands to buy. And then I decided at the last minute not to buy them. Like for example, home goods. I had a candle in my hand and then I saw the canister, so I switched it out for the canister and left the candle behind. And then um, World Market, uh, I was all set to buy a candle from there and then I re-smelled the candles and was like, you know what, none of these are really doing it for me. Like they smell good, but it's not the fall scent that I'm looking for. Uh, so. Target in for the win here. I went with the cinnamon pumpkin muffin, just a, just a classic pumpkin scent, and that's really all that I wanted. They these candles are great. They smell so good. They last a really long time. Only ten dollars for this big one, so I already know that this is gonna be, this is gonna be a great one. So, yeah. And then I was gonna, I totally was gonna buy some tea at the World Market too. And I literally realized like halfway on the way home and I was like, I literally was screaming in my car, no, <laughs> I wanted that tea so bad and I totally forgot to buy it. Uh, it really honestly breaks my heart. I, um, it's all right, they will, there will be other teas in the future and we were just gonna have to soldier on the best that we can. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today's video. I surely hope you all had a good time. I know I did. Um, once again, this is kind of more of the typical of how I do my home decor shopping. Um, you know, I, I love going to specific stores and showing you the specific things and showing you every single item and the prices and all of that stuff. Um, I have a really, really good time doing that. Um, but this is kind of more actually what I do in the wild. Uh, is go to a bunch of different stores, pick out the stuff that I really like, and just have a good time just looking at it all and, and soaking it in. Um, it's I, I had a really good time. It was a long day, did a lot of stuff, spent a lot of money. <laughs> Yikes. Um, but that's, uh, that's how these things go. So anyway, I really appreciate you all watching so much. By the way, thank you so much. 14,000 subscribers. We hit that number, I believe, yesterday. 
Um, so thank you all so much for being a part of the channel. I, sh I really, really appreciate it. I very much hope that you all enjoy the channel going forward too. You know, it's we only have a certain amount of time that we're doing spooky shopping. And then after that, the rest of the year, <laughs> You know, we're doing other things, so I hope that you all enjoy that too. Um, but yeah, we, we still have a lot of stuff coming up here. Um, a lot of shopping that we have uh, coming up here, especially in August. It's going to be getting really crazy. We're kind of in a lull right now, um, but very, very soon we're going to be... A lot of big stores come with their stuff is coming out, so I'm really excited. So thank you all again so much for watching, and we will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye, everybody. Happy Halloween. Oh.